Welcome to Lessons from the Trenches. This is episode number eight. Today, we're going to shift our focus a little bit from sales and into marketing. One of the things that I've been running across a lot lately is organizations who are trying to optimize optimize their investments in their marketing automation platforms. And one of the most common phrases I hear is, can we just apply some best practices? And while that makes sense, and I understand the thinking, it's a little bit of conflict in terms of what you're trying to do for your business. So most marketing automation platforms, I have a lot of familiarity with Marketo and Pardot and HubSpot. They are pretty opinionated in terms of what their, how their system applies within your ecosystem. So as an example, the concept of a, of a life cycle within a system like a Marketo is typically focused on the application of some sort of waterfall, right? And it doesn't really take into consideration multiple buying processes, multiple products, multiple this, multiple that. It really works in a very systematic way with the CRM system. So when you want to apply best practice to, let's say, a complex matrix enterprise organization, it's really not that simple. It's not a one-to-one. It's not as simple as just firing up a life cycle, connecting us to the fields of Salesforce and being on your way. So the application of best practice, which is typically built around, let's face it, you know, startup to mid-market B2B SaaS organizations doesn't apply when you talk about multinational matrix enterprise organizations or even upper mid-market organizations. So what you really have to do is take an intentional approach to understanding what your processes are, how technology works together in your ecosystem against those processes. Can those processes be applied to your system? What are you going to have to do to bend the system in different ways? Or is there a way to optimize your process that might fit into the system a little bit more nicely? Either way is work, either way works and either way is viable. It just does take some intentional assessment of your overall ecosystem and design of what your process is going to look like that you can then apply to that system. And all of the inputs that go around that need to be informed by a bunch of things within your organization. So be a little wary when you look at, you know, optimizing a system just to best practice. Best practice may not always work for you and your business. Curious what others have seen out there. Hope this is helpful.